Okay, in this video, I'm going to do the final, exercise, final question on exercise 1E on page 35 of the book Fundamental Applied Mathematics. So this is a star question, uh, so it would be the more difficult questions, and this is the last one. So you, it would suggest that this is the most difficult question in the chapter. And that may be, you might find it difficult. Personally, I think that once you understand the fundamentals, all these questions are the same. So I'll go through it, and we'll see what happens. So... Let's see if I can put this in front of you here. So we have A is a vector of magnitude 10 units with the direction. B is a vector along the positive x-axis. Find the magnitude of B if A plus B has a certain direction, giving your answer correct to two decimal places. So, first thing we do is what? We draw our Cartesian plane by drawing our x-axis and our y-axis also defining our unit vectors i hat and j hat and remember again uh, you could, the reason you use the unit vectors is so that you know which dimension or which direction your vector is going okay so obviously if, if something has both an i hat and a j hat component it lives in the x y plane if it has an i hat j hat and a k hat component it lives in the x y z volume so we're given that the vector A has a magnitude of 10 units. So here's the ma vector A, uh, the magnitude of vector A being 10, its direction is 80 degrees north of east. The vector B is magnitude unknown, the direction is 21 degrees 48 minutes north of east. So let's draw those. We have by the way, we know that B, uh, no that's, sorry, that's, that, that's incorrect. Oh, that's, uh, one second now, I picked up the wrong biro. It's A plus B is that, that, uh, that direction, and, but we also know that the vector B is uh, along the I hat dimension, so it's I, I hat direction, so it's on the X axis. That's what we know. So let's draw the vector A. Here's the vector A. We know that it's in the first quadrant because it's north of east. We know this. Remember your compass. So just a very quick compass. N S E W. I'm sure you're familiar with that. So we have our uh, we have our compass. We know exactly where to draw our vector. All right. So we have our vector there A drawn, and we know that it's 80 degrees north of east so that's that's that vector there and there's the angle corresponding to the vector a we know the vector b its magnitude is unknown however its direction is along the positive i hat axis so here's the vector b along the i hat axis like so the vector a plus b is a direction of 21 minutes 21 minute 21 degrees 48 minutes north of east so this line clearly of course extends down to the down to the uh, the origin However, it comes up, like it, just for clarity, I drew it like this. There's the vector A plus B at a, uh, a direction 21 degrees 48 minutes north of the vector, or north of east, or north of the x-axis. So what do we do? Well, what we do is the exact same as we do with everything else, and then we begin to tackle the question. So what's that? Well, we're given, uh, in this case, we, we have three particular vectors, so, and they're going in arbitrary or random directions or um, yeah just any any old direction so what we do is we resolve the vector into its component unit vectors so we see what two vectors in the i hat and j hat direction or the xy plane when you add together will give you that resultant vector like that actually I should draw that again and say that again what you're trying to find out what two unit vectors when added together We'll give you the resultant. We'll say in this case it might be A. And that's what we've got to find out. So we'll start with the vector A. So here's, I've drawn in the center there, I've drawn an XY plane, I've drawn the vector A at 80 degrees north of east, and I've drawn it giving it a magnitude of 10, which, is, which we're given. Now, of course, we have Sakatoa. Alright, so we'll say sine 80 sine of 80 is equal to the opposite of the hypotenuse 
and I know I'm drawing this at an angle, and the cosine of 80 uh, is equal to the adjacent over the hypotenuse. We know what the hypotenuse, the hypotenuse is equal to 10. So that means basically that the opposite is equal to 10 sine 80, and the adjacent is equal to 10 cosine of 80. This is something we've seen in the past. So I've drawn the two unit vectors, 10 sine 80, in the the y uh, in the y y dimension on the y axis, and I've drawn 10 cosine 80 on the x axis or uh, parallel to the i hat unit vector. Okay. B is along the positive i hat axis here, so I've just drawn B like that. Its magnitude is unknown. Next, I'm going to call the vector C. I'm going to say this vector A plus B. I'm going to call it C. So the vector, let's straighten that up there so you can see it. So the exact as we do the exact same thing as above here, we don't know what its magnitude is, we'll call it c. So therefore this vector here, parallel to the y-axis, okay, is c sine 21 degrees 48 minutes. This is c cosine 21 degrees 48 minutes. And you might you, if you want you could do this as well to give it give it its actual direction. So what do we know? We know the following. We know that the vector, uh, where we draw it now, just give me a moment and I get some space. All right? We know the following. We know that the vector B is equal to a question mark or whatever you want, i hat plus zero j hat. We know that. We know that the vector A is equal to 10 cosine 80 i hat plus 10 sine 80 j hat. Why do we know that it's plus plus? Well once again we if we draw it we'll say our uh, there's our plane we define it up in that direction for the for the y or positive in that direction for the y that way for the x therefore this gives plus plus minus plus minus minus and plus minus of course, we're in this particular quadrant here, which corresponds to both the uh, both the i hat and the j hat components being positive. All right, so that's what we know there, and we also know we also know that the vector c, which is a plus b, is equal to uh, c times the sine of 21 degrees 48 minutes i hat plus for the same reason as the, as a c cosine 21 degrees 48 minutes j like that that's what we know now we've we're, we have the we have the component vectors of c so we need to add a plus b and how we do that we add what's the we add everything in the i and we add everything in the j because you can add things provided they're facing in the same direction so of course we're going to get question mark plus 10 cosine 80 in the i direction and we're going to get 0 plus 10 sine 80 in the j direction. So what do we have? We'll just move the camera down here a small bit. Okay, exactly as I said. We said a plus b. We have 10 cos 80 here plus, well we don't know what b is, I'm just going to call it b, i hat plus 10 sine 80 j hat because that's the only part of those two that is in the j hat direction. Also, we know this. If we look, look at the, uh, the vector c here, now obviously you can, we, we, we know the components here and here, but uh, how do I describe this? Just let me think for a moment, right? We can, we're, we're trying to relate this vector here to the vector a plus b, okay? Now if you look at the vector a plus b, what we're after, we're, what we're after making for ourselves is this vector here. We'll say this is the vector c, but bear with me now, right? This 10 cos 80 plus b is this vector, like that. 10 sine 80 j is this vector here. Right? But yet, but we also know that the vector c, that this vector here is equal to c cos, c cos 21 degrees 48 minutes. And we know this vector here is equal to c sine 28 degrees 48 minutes. But we also know that this is equal to this, we'll say those two are equal. And those two are equal, like that. Or you could say the tangents, we could say tan, because remember from Sakatoa, 
right? Tan is opposite over adjacent. But we know the we know the uh, we know what do we know? We know that um, tan of 21 degrees 48 minutes is equal is equal to uh, 10 sine 80 over 10 cos 80 plus b because that angle there is also 21 degrees 48 minutes. Now I don't know if I'm explaining that fully correct. I've done this in another question in before, so I didn't explain this correctly. Please just uh, put a comment in the video, and I'll go through that again. So basically, we have that the tan of 21 degrees 48 minutes is equal to 0 0.39, but at the same time is equal to 10 sine 80 over 10 cos 80 plus b, because that's what tan is equal to opposite over adjacent the j hat over the i hat dimensions, that gives you 0 0.39 and the rest is just a small bit of algebra so we get uh, we get what? Um, let me rub out a small bit of stuff up here let me rub out that ok, I need to get a new marker, so this will be the last video with this particular marker so we know that 10 sine 80 um, is equal to 0 0.39 times 10 cos 80 plus b therefore 10 sine 80 over 0 0.39 is equal to 10 cos 80 plus b Therefore, B is equal to 10 sine 80 over 0 0.39 minus 10 cos 80. So let's plug that into the calculator and see what we get. So we have 10 sine, can you see that? You can see a bit of that. I'll put it down here. 10 sine 80 divided by 0 0.39 take away 10 cosine 80 from that gives me an answer of 23.51 for B check that at the back of the book and uh, the answer in the back of the book is 22.88 now just let me think why that might be the case Right, so I just had a look there, and we're getting, basically, the answer in the book was approximately 23, and we're getting an answer of approximately 24. And I'll tell you, the reason is, if you look here, I divided by 0 0.39, and the, the solution in the book would have divided by 0 0.4. And when you divide 10 times the sine of 80 by 0 0.4, you'll get the answer that's in the back of the book. It's just to do with the number of significant figures. Okay, so please subscribe to my channel and pass this video on and thanks for watching.